It's easy to see why some people would think green is Scott Zaremba's favorite color. At his Green Energy Gateway in Lawrence, Kansas, he's harnessing the power of water, wind, and other natural resources to reduce operating costs and do his part to help the nation move toward oil independence. The Green Energy Gateway began three years ago as a germ of an idea and opened its doors in February 2008. Thoughts of the fuel crisis of the 1970s and the Gulf War of the early 1990s reminded Zaremba of the cycle of volatility around imported motor fuels. Also, two of his company's eight stores were in the five-county Kansas City region, where all stations had to offer low-emission gasoline. He also figured the Earth-Friendly store would serve as a fitting legacy for his two young children. We were trying to figure out what we could do in the marketplace today um, to help us and also help our environment. I'm on the air quality board in our county, and I wanted to see what we could do to, to help our air quality and help our consumer keep our price down, and that's where Earth-Friendly Fuels came into play. Um, developing earth-friendly fuels and, and using um, products that, that are environmentally friendly and better for our, our air and our ground um, is what I thought was the way to go, and that's what we've been working at ever since. Zaremba, president of Zarco 66 Earth-Friendly Fuels, does business in the heart of the Corn Belt, so it makes perfect sense that corn-based ethanol is a core point of difference for the Green Energy Gateway. Thanks to technology that enables splash blending right at the pump, the store's fuel island offers 14 different blends of ethanol blended gasoline and biodiesel. Along with recycled building materials and captured rainwater, and wind and sunlight as a means of producing energy, Zaremba added other small touches to get consumers thinking about the four R's, that is, reduce, recycle, renew, and reuse. For example, an on-site coffee house has a living roof to reduce rainwater runoff and filter airborne pollutants. Also, the store offers recycling bins for paper, plastic, and aluminum cans. Well, we did several aspects to the site to help our environment, and, and we have a green living roof on the coffee house that we're about to open. Um, that helps reduce runoff. Um, it, those plants also, you know, uh, absorb uh, some of the bad things from our air, help our air quality. We have a wind turbine, in fact, got delivered today. So um, we'll be able to use wind power to, to generate some of the power on the facility, and then we're going to have solar. And we have solar power also, along with several other aspects of energy conservation. Zaremba is a self-proclaimed fiscal conservative, whose Rolodex now includes a veritable who's who of the green world. He works closely with the Environmental Protection Agency and the state's Department of Health. Such partnerships help defray the cost of the site's construction, but the store still costs 30% more to build than a normal convenience store. That's kind of been my philosophy since we started. I believe that if everybody does a little, that we can have a huge impact, and that's what we're looking for. And so, you know, we, we've been working at that day in and day out and starting to educate the public so they can understand all the things they can do in their environment to help them save money and save their environment.